Hi, and welcome to Fusion 360, in our segment for exporting PCB manufacturing files, Advanced Edition. Our first video explored exporting manufacturer files in a versatile ODB++ format and introduced our convenient one-click solution for Gerber files. Today, we're going to delve into the power and flexibility of Fusion 360 electronic CAM processor. While our default setting aligns with the requirements of 99% of manufacturers, there may be instances where adjustments are needed. Let's get started. As we did earlier, navigate to the Manufacturing tab and select the CAM Processor option. You're going to notice it automatically loaded a CAN job, which matches your layer stack up. In our case, the two-layer job. Fusion 360 offers the convenience of compressing all your files for export to the project directory, and by default, you'll be exported locally in metric. Unless specified differently by your manufacturer, there's generally no need to alter the setting. The output files are divided into two sections. We have ODB++ and Gerber files. Both standards are widely accepted. ODB++ does provide additional information about your design, making it highly preferred by almost all PCB manufacturers. By highlighting the driver, you can make changes to its configurations. Our default setup will be able to work with all manufacturers. Under the primary title, you're going to have sections that pertain to each output. As you select the section, a preview will appear. Some ODB++ sections don't have a preview since they only contain configuration details. With the section selected, you can and will be able to make changes, such as layers that will be used for the output. Why is this important? You may think there are times that we will use additional layers on the PCB. We want them to appear on the board. For example, you may have custom layers where you place your company logo or information about manufacturing. Instead of placing these details on the standard silk screen layers, you put them on a documentation layer to avoid confusion with attributes or component outlines. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for our Gerber files. Below the Gerber files, you're going to notice the image section. Here, you could use a context menu to create an output of images that match your manufacturer's configuration. This is an excellent reference since it will give the manufacturer an idea of what to expect as a final product for the PCB. Next, you have a drill output, commonly the standard Exelon format. As stated earlier, you may make changes if needed. Our default is going to be using leading zero suppress with a 3.3 format. The assembly will consist of the build material and the pick and place outputs. The BOM can be exported based on values, our default, or by listing components one at a time. The pick and place text output will have the location and rotation of each component by layer in the case you intend to order your boards with parts populated. With all the changes made, go ahead and press process job. With the path selected, all the files are going to be exported. The directory output will be divided between the ODB++ and the Gerber files. As mentioned earlier, the assembly files such as BOM and Pick and Place will be in text format. Thank you for joining me. All this and more with Fusion 360.